let's discuss today's problem and today's problem is populating next right pointers in each node so in this tutorial first we will understand the problem statement then we will discuss how do we approach this problem and finally we will write its java code so let's start with the problem statement and the problem statement is given a perfect binary tree where all leaves are on the same level and every parent has two children so this is the property of a perfect binary tree and the binary tree has the following definitions so we have given the definition of a node so out of these four attributes we are already familiar with these three attributes the value part uh, left pointer and right pointer and apart from that we have given the next pointer so our task is to populate each next pointer to point to its next right node and if there is no next right node the next pointer should be set to null and initially all next pointers are set to null and here are the follow-up the first one is you may only use constant extra space so recursive we can use the recursive approach but you may assume implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem so the meaning of this line is when we do the recursion when we solve some problems using recursion the function calls are put in a call stack so so this line says that the this stack so the function call which put in a call stack takes some memory so this memory or this space does not count as extra space for this problem now let's see the example in this example given a perfect binary tree and the next pointer points to null our task is to populate each next pointer to point to its next right node so let's start with the first level and in this level there is no next right node so it will points to null so the next pointer points to null let's move to the next level so this node next pointer will points to its right node which is 3 and this will points to null now let's move to the next level this node next pointer points to its right node similarly this node next pointer will points to its right node and similarly this will points to this node and after that this will points to null so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem efficiently let's discuss the easiest and most intuitive way to approach this problem so our task is to populate each next pointer to points to its next right node and initially all the nodes next pointer points to null to solve this problem take a pointer and initialize with the first node of each level for example take a pointer uh, of node type and let's say its name is current and initially it is initialized with root node so let's initialize with root node and it will points to the address of this node then what we have to do is we have to take its left child so we have to take its left child and in next pointer of the left child we have to points to the address of right child and and for right child there is no next right node so we points to null so we take the left child of this node which is this one and in next pointer we points to the address of this node this its right child and then we for right uh, child there is no next right node so it points to null now once we are done with this level so we start with the first level once we are done with this level let's move to the next level so let's initialize the first node of the next level to the current node and once we initialize the first node of the next level then again we repeat the same process we pick its left child and we points to the and in the next pointer of the left child we points to the address of the right node and for this right node we points to the address of this node and using the next pointer so we have the address in current node we have the address of 
this node and using the next pointer the next pointer has the address of its right child so we move to the right child and this left node we take its left node so which is the left child and we points to the address of its right node and this right nodes points to the address of null i mean this is the most simplest and most intuitive approach to solve this problem let's discuss its java code so the first condition is very straightforward if root is null simply return null else so i have already explained so let's declare one current pointer so it's of node type and initialize with the root node and let's run this loop until we traverse all the levels and in next level just keep track of the first node of the next level and in this loop uh, we fix the next pointer of all the nodes present at the current level so let's dry run this code let's assume this is the input and uh, so the first condition is false root is not equal to null and in current pointer we assign the address of the root node so then we check if its current dot left is not equal to null so yes it is not null so now in next level we keep track of the first node of the next level which is two so let's i'm writing here and while the current is not null so current is this so current is pointing to the address of the root node so while the current is not null what we have to do we have to do it's we have to take its left child and its left child is 2 and in this node in the left child the next pointer of the left child will points to the address of the right child so to the next pointer of the of this node will points to the address of this node and now we check if if the current node dot next equal to equal to null yes it is null simply its current dot right so this one current dot right is this node three and in next pointer we points to of null as it is the last node of this level else so uh, else we will come at this statement later and then we in current we assign the current dot next so in current we assign the current dot next which is null so now in next iteration we came out of this loop and in current we assign the next level and what is the next level so in next level we keep the address of the first node of the next level which is 2 so we have the address of 2 in current so again we check current dot left is not null so yes it is not null and in next level we keep the address of the next first node of the next level so now we keep the address for here address of this node and while the current is not null yes it is not null we take this node we take 4 and in 4 we points to the address of in 4 dot next we points to the address of 5 now let's see and this node this node dot next is equal to equal to null no so the next pointer of this node is points to 3 so what we do is in this in current dot so we pick this node and then we go to this node and we take its left child so which is this node and in this node next pointer we points to the address of this so this is the statement where we are doing this thing and in the current current will points to now will points to the address of this node so we point three so again it is not null so what we have to do we have to take its left child and we have two points to the address of this node so five points to six and now six points to seven so i am talking about its next pointer and now we are at this node so its next pointer is null yes so now the current dot right so current is this one 
so its right is this 7 it will points to null so it will points to null so we have fixed the next pointer of all the nodes present at this level and after that we came out of this loop and in current we assign the address of address which we have initialized in next level so the address of this node so now address of this node is assigned and in next iteration when we check current dot next so current is this one it's next so sorry it's left is not equal to null no it's null so it means we have traversed all the levels and we have fixed the next pointer of all the nodes of each level so now we came out of this loop and we return the reference of this root node so let me run this code as i have already checked let me uh, run it again and let's see so if i submit it so you can see it has submitted successfully so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n so its time complexity is big o of n and what about its space complexity so we are using constant space so its space complexity is big o of one so that's it for this video tutorial and you can implement its recursive version yourself and share the code through the comment section so that the other people who are watching this video get the benefit from the code you have shared so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video